Hey, it's Jay, and welcome to the Hands for Hire channel. Please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Today, we're going to be doing some maintenance on the Hands for Hire golf cart. Instead of just doing the maintenance, though, I thought it might be fun to actually test the top speed of the cart after each part of maintenance is done. We're going to drive the cart down a 100 meter stretch of road, we're going to time it, and then get an average speed. Once we have our average speed, that'll be our control for the experiment. And then after each maintenance part, we're going to run the cart down the street again and get an average top speed. In the end, we're going to see which part affects the speed of the cart the most. All right, let's go. Okay, we just did the control. I timed it three different times and got very similar times. 14.9 seconds was about the average. So I took that 100 meters divided by 14.9 seconds. I got the meters per second converted to miles per hour and it was about 15 miles per hour. 14.98 miles per hour on average to be exact. First order of maintenance is gonna be filling up the batteries with distilled water. Make sure you use distilled water so you don't get other impurities mixed into the battery. The reason we need to add water is the plates inside need to be submerged. Everything is transferred through the fluid, which is the water that you add to the battery. So it's important to keep them up and make sure that your plates aren't exposed. I also recommend that the batteries are fully charged when you actually add the water. Just use distilled water and add it after the battery's been charged. It's pretty easy, I can just flip off one of these. You look down in there, most of these are look pretty good. This one might need a little bit of water. Don't always expect that you're gonna have to add water to each cell, especially if you do it on a monthly basis. I'm just purposing this oil funnel as a just a water fill from for the cart. And just pour a little bit in. And it makes it super easy so you don't spill everywhere. Alright, that's the only one this one needed. all look good. All right, done. Let's test it again. In this maintenance step, we didn't have to add too much distilled water. The batteries were actually pretty good. So I don't think it made it much of a difference for the top speed, but we tested it anyway. And after three runs, we averaged 15.07 miles per hour, which is 0.09 miles per hour greater than the 14.98 for no maintenance whatsoever. The next step up is there's some creaks on the cart, so we're gonna take some lithium grease. We're gonna get in all the spots that might need a little more lubrication, and then we're gonna see if that helps the top speed. Today I'm using WD-40 white lithium grease, and it's so good. Um, I use it on my bike chain all the time before I go on rides and I also use it on doorways in the household. I just spray the hinges and anything that's creaking, it goes away immediately and then the doors move silently in our house, which is nice. So I'm gonna try this all around the basin of the cart. So let's give this a shot on the golf cart. All right, so first I put on some blue gloves because it's not good to get oils on your hand. Wear gloves when you do this. Um, before I start spraying the lithium grease, and what I'm gonna do is just kind of clean off the areas. This is just down below the front left wheel well. Let's wipe away a little bit of the excess. All 
Okay, the last part I need to get to is the steering column. It's, uh, it's been creaking a little bit as we turn the wheel, so I'm gonna try to get some lithium grease up in there and see if I can get rid of that creak. Okay, we just found the average top speed for the lithium grease and it was 15.14 miles per hour. So it's creeping up just a little bit. It's honestly not making much of a difference, but at least it's increasing the speed just a little bit. Plus, it was really nice driving and not having tons of creaking in my wheels and my steering column, which has been a common thing for the last few months. Okay, next up, I think it's probably gonna make the biggest difference tire pressure. We're going to check the tire pressure and we're going to increase the tire pressure to what it should be and we'll see how that affects the top speed. The recommended PSI for golf cart tires is 20 PSI. So let's take a look and see where we because it needs it. So we're gonna clean the cart, we're gonna test it one more time and see if actually cleaning does anything. I don't think it will, but we're gonna try it anyway. You guys missed the spot. Thank you for your help, girls. Final run, clean cart. Here we go. Three, two, one, go.
Unfortunately, the clean cart really didn't make a difference in the top speed, but hey, now I've got a clean cart, thanks to my little helpers. I know I've just covered the basics of golf cart maintenance, but if you have any more ideas or any suggestions, then put them in the comments below. For those of you who are still here, I just wanted to take a moment to explain all the calculations I did today. So we had our track, we had a start and a finish. It was 100 meters long, measured that out. And if we took an example of trials one, two, and three, then we get an average of 14.32 seconds. We know that velocity is equal to displacement over time. So in this example, our displacement's 100 meters and our average time is 14.32 seconds. If we divide the two, we get 6.98 meters per second. That's meters per second, and most people in the United States don't think in metric, so let's convert it to miles per hour. So this is a conversion bridge. We have 1,609 meters in one mile, and there's 3,600 seconds in one hour. And what we do is we take 6.98 meters per second, and we multiply through by the numbers on the top of the bridge, and then we divide by the numbers on the bottom of the bridge. This gives us our answer of 15.62 miles per hour. Congratulations, we just covered one of the first lessons in high school physics.